Let's get to your political headlines. Aiming to prevent an onslaught of wintertime evictions, Oregon Governor Kate Brown is calling for a special session December 13th. The rental assistance program deadline expired on Wednesday night. Congressman Peter DeFazio announced Wednesday he will not seek re-election in 2022. DeFazio has represented Oregon's 4th District since 1987. And Oregon Attorney General Ellen Rosenblum will not run for governor. Rosenblum made the announcement Monday. According to the Secretary of State's office, 23 people have already entered Oregon's gubernatorial race. Every week at this time, we're going to give folks a minute or so to talk about anything they want. This week, we've got former Multnomah County Chief Deputy District Attorney Norm Frink. He has some issues with Governor Brown when it comes to criminal releases. Oregonians should know that our lame duck governor, Kate Brown, is doubling down on what I feel are extremist criminal justice policies. Despite the obvious failure of those policies, as evidenced by our soaring crime rates and the degradation of downtown Portland and some of its neighborhoods, last month she purported to commute the sentences of hundreds of violent adult criminals simply because they committed their crimes when they were 17. Moreover, she did this without consulting with crime victims, their families, and law enforcement as the law requires. This is not a partisan issue. Oregonians of all parties need to say enough is enough and hold politicians accountable in elections next year if they support these lawless actions. Next week, the race for Oregon governor heats up and you're getting a kicker check. I talk with state treasurer and gubernatorial candidate Tobias Reed about the state of the Oregon economy and his campaign. That will be at 930 Sunday morning on Portland CW and 6 o'clock Sunday night on Coin 6.